Welcome back to Venetia Reviews. Today we are testing out the DJI Osmo Action 4. Y'all know I'm bad with these long names, but just stay with me. You know what I'm talking about. So why did I pick up this camera? Did I need it? No. I mean, we really don't need any of these devices. We get them because we want them, right? And yeah, we may have a need for it here or there, but I am a true believer that you really can get the job done with just about any camera you have. You can make it work. Now, if you're doing some certain things, yeah, maybe a specialized device is going to make your job easier. But my point is, I didn't really need this. Not for the type of content that I capture, but I wanted it. Okay? And when a girl wants something, a girl going to get it, right? <laughs> Why did I want this camera? One, I struggled with it. I went back and forth because it's an action cam. And I can tell you guys that absolutely nothing that I do in my life is really action field. Yeah, I might hike a little bit. I like to be out in nature, but I'm not riding any bikes. I'm not going fast riding any bikes. I'm not swimming. I'm not diving. I'm not doing none of that. None of it. Just a typical girl from the hood. So I don't really need an action cam. That's just not really my lifestyle. So I don't really have a need for it. But I thought that it would still have a place in my arsenal for a few reasons. The first reason is because it's, it's very durable, right? When I'm out and about, even though I'm not doing these action packed things, I can put it almost anywhere that I want. I can get it wet and I'm by the pool. I might not be diving, but if I'm by the pool, I can get it wet. You know, all those types of things did make it attractive to me, even though I don't have a particular need for an action cam. Another reason having an action cam is kind of like a backup camera in my kit is, it sounds attractive to me. And the second part of that is the price. The price point, I think, is really amazing for the benefits that it offers and made it very attractive for me for those times that I don't want to use my Pocket 3. Again, don't need it. You can make do with what you got, but if I'm blessed to be able to pick it up for a great price, then why not? Let's, let's rock and roll with it. And last but not least, the ecosystem or the ease of use, if you will, in using these same DJI products, I feel confident that I will get a similar look, whether I go from the Pocket 3 over to the Action 4, and then I'm looking to add a little mini drone to my arsenal as well. So I'm a person that loves the ecosystem. <laughs> I mean, and there's nothing wrong with going outside of the ecosystem, but for me, that's always a big plus, and especially if the products are good and they're kind of interchangeable. I love kind of staying within the ecosystem if I can. So... The um, durability, the price point, and the ecosystem for the other products that I own, it made it really attractive to me. So, what are my initial thoughts on the action forum? So far, I like it. I'm going to be really honest. I don't know how much I'm going to use it, but I'm going to try to push myself to really use it more because I think it's a neat little camera. And you guys know if you've watched any of my videos that I'm a Canon lover. And I recently picked up the Canon V10, but I returned that. And I kind of feel that the Action 4, if I only wanted to pick one or the other, would have even been a better alternative for me than the V10. Even though on, on paper, specs-wise, the V10 should be a better vlog camera. But I felt like overall, the Action 4 was even a little bit of a better deal than the V10. And don't get me wrong, I don't dislike the V10. There were some things that I really, really loved about it, but there were some things that I didn't love a lot. So, uh, but from a realistic standpoint, you know, what are my initial thoughts of this baby right here? I'm really liking it so far for what it is. One thing that I do like is this quick release type. And it's not so quick for me because guess what? My nails, but you can remove this and attach it either way for either vertical or horizontal videos. I just love the action cam mounting system because you can pretty much mount these things wherever you want them to. And even the fact that it was kind of hard to take off 
I like that because to me that tells me it's pretty sturdy. Like it's not going to just fall. Now you gotta have it connected on there really good. You gotta, you know, do your part. But once it's connected good, it's, I feel confident that it's not going anywhere. Also, I like with the action four, and keep in mind, this is just a standard combo. It also came with like this little cage thing. But once you remove this, the camera is so cute and tiny. And I love that there is a viewfinder on the front. There's a viewfinder on the back. If you have a low action lifestyle like me and you've, you know, you found some really good creative ways to use your action for in conjunction to your pocket three or any other of your other cameras please let me know i'd be very interested to see what you guys think and how you're using your action for i'm kind of excited because i am going back to vegas in a couple of weeks and i'm excited to take it along I know that I'm primarily going to be using my Pocket 3, but there's going to be some times I'm going to be driving out probably to Red Rock Mountains, and I probably will drive out to Pahrump again. So I'm probably going to try to get some footage there with my Action 4 and the Pocket 3. Um, but other than that, I, I'm probably the textbook example of who doesn't need the action for but yet and still I got it anyway and I'm determined to show you some other ways that you can use this great little camera and get some good content we're gonna find plenty of ways to use this bad boy right okay well that's it for now stay tuned and I will see you guys later